Hello, everyone, for OneWrestling.com. This is Bill Apter, and today another in our Apter Chats, catching up with uh, someone we haven't talked to in a long time, has a uh, uh, young guy with a long and storied career, and uh, we used to know him under the name of Wolfie D. And uh, PG-13, you remember them. Wolfie D, welcome to OneWrestling.com. It's great to see you again. Good to see you, Bill. How are you doing? And it's nice to see somebody with less hair than me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I'm doing real good. It's uh, good to have you here. And you and I have been talking the past few months about uh, doing this, basically uh, to catch up and uh, you let the fans what uh, know what you're, uh, what you're doing these days. But before we do that, why don't we rewind uh, back to your career? So many people remember, it, as, as terrific as you did as a single wrestler and also Jamie Dundee, the two of you together as PG-13 just became so great. How did that whole thing happen? Well, we were uh, both starting out. I think I was around 17 or something like that uh, on the independent circuit. Actually, you know, back then it was called Outlaw. There yeah. wasn't the thing. Is An outlaw group. Outlaw groups. You didn't work for them. You got fired. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we were, we were doing that. And um, Chris Champion actually put us together. Oh. said, you guys ought to, because uh, I started doing it by myself. I was Wolfie D by myself with the shorts and everything. And then it was kind of Chris's idea to put us together, and uh, the hubcap came about. We were at a show in Shelbyville, and I don't know if you've ever been there, but the, oh, the dress was dirty and just a whole bunch of junk back there and just had to be a hubcap. We needed something to use uh, to hit somebody in the head with that night, and just so happens we found a hubcap, and it was just impromptu. We used it, and it worked, and uh, you know, then we started being a team for quite a while, uh, You know, probably a good year before we – sent in a tape to um, Jerry Jarrett, and he loved it, and, you know, the rest is history. He made the little um, uh, rap videos for all that, and yeah, then yeah, those guys yeah. out, gave us the shove, and there you go. And you guys went through uh, uh, the whole Mid-South territory, yeah. WWE, WCW. Yeah. Tell us about, uh, if you could pick one match from each of those uh, uh, territories that uh, – you still rewind in your head every once in a while. Uh, yeah. The Mid South area, what would that have been? Um, man, we had we had some good matches with all the, the feuds that we had, but you know the uh, the Louisville, uh, what was it? It was like the Night to Remember, or whatever in Louisville uh, against Rock and Roll Express. Oh yeah, uh, huge house, and you know we beat them, and it was kind of the passing of the torch type deal, and that that was one of my favorites. But then what about, the whole, what about the match, WWE? WWE, well, my heroes were the Road Warriors, and, you know, we got smashed by them. But we had a really good match with uh, the Smoking Guns when we came up the oh, first yes. time. Right? Yeah. I liked yeah. that match. What, what a great team to get smashed by, the Road Warriors. Yeah, too. yeah, I didn't mind. <laughs> what about WCW? Uh, we had a match with, um, it was us and Frog against the Jung Dragons. Oh, yeah, yes, I remember that, actually. And, and we, we did, a, the, the finish was a triple sunset flip where you'd have to see it where somebody was holding the other guy up and then I think Jamie Noble came over the top to do the third one yeah. and everybody went down at the same time. We walked back to the back and there was people like uh, DDP, Arn Anderson, the whole crew was gave us a standing ovation when we came back through the curtain. So that's that was can, pretty memorable. Can you get up on your desk there right now and do that uh, move? <laughs> no, probably First not. First <laughs> time ever on the after chat, face to face, right. ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, so eventually the two of you uh, decided to split up. Yeah. And uh, we're going to catch up with what you're doing now. Where is he today? Uh, Jamie lives in uh, Henderson, Kentucky. He don't work much uh, when he does. I don't think he shows up. <laughs> but him, I love him to death. But outlaw, uh, just, outlaw. Yeah, business wise, we just we can't get on the same page anymore. Yeah, once an outlaw, always an outlaw. So let's uh, move forward now. You uh, uh, after the breakup, tell us uh, what happened from there. Well, I um, I went with with TNA when they first started, yeah. and uh, kind of went by myself doing the slash thing for a while. Oh, oh right, yes. Actually, before that, I went to OVW and did it there. Uh, Cornette helped me kind of mold that character. And then I got the job with TNA when they opened. And then they put me and Brian Lee together and put the tag team titles on us there yes. with Father James Mitchell. Some good, good matches there. Some of my favorite matches of my career, actually, is against the uh, America's Most Wanted, uh, James Storm and Chris Harris. Oh, what a great team. What a great yeah. team. Um, 
And then in 2004, you know, we had a lot of good stuff there, working against the ECW guys and all that. Then after that was over, I actually quit the business for, uh, seemed, I guess, about three years or something. What did What did you do? I was working at the Nashville Convention Center in Nashville. Doing yeah. what? Setting up shows. That's great. Yeah, it was a it was a good job. It paid well. It was a city job, and you know, I, I got a house and moved to the country and all that kind of stuff. And then uh, a few years later, I, I got that itch again, and um, <laughs> don't 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 again. doesn't everyone in that business? Yeah. yeah. Um. Really, nothing really came about until, you know, I was just kind of just doing it to do it. And then um, a few years ago, uh, actually, it was the end of last year, in the mid mid uh, mid August of last year, I got the idea to start the wrestling school, and I opened up a wrestling school in Nashville, and it it's doing pretty well. It was at the end of the year when I was still there, but since in the past few months, I've moved to Knoxville, so. Uh, the attendance has dropped off a little bit. Just I, I truly believe because I'm not there. You know, it's got my name on it. Right, but it's still there. Yeah, uh, Chris Michaels is running it for me right now. Good choice. But, uh, and he does he does a great job. You know, he's somebody that I knew so I could if, trust. If, if people want to look up the the school, where do they yeah. go? It's on Facebook. Uh, Wolfie D's House of Champions. Also, you can go to www.wolfiedshoc.com. Uh, and that's the actual website. Okay. Um, so I did that. And then and another thing at the end of last year, the beginning of this year, I started a new character. I pretty much dropped the Wolfie D. I'm trying to kill him. Um, you know, it was a good run, but yeah, uh, yeah. rid of that name. Uh, I started working with TCW. Oh, yeah, traditional championship wrestling. I've worked with them with great group. They put on incredible shows, and their, their TV is uh, on the Internet. You can see it, and it's an HD. It's really yep. a great product. They've also uh, just recently signed with both Dish Network and Direct TV. Yes, so yes. Um, I'm waiting um, for them to get here into Philadelphia so we can yeah. see them on TV here. I think it's going to fly. It gives me a good feeling, and I've said this before, working for them, and even before they got the Dish deal, the satellite deal, it reminds me a little bit of TNA when they first started when I was working for them. There was something about it that told me this is going to go. you know, yeah, And I get yeah. the same feeling with TCW. Uh, but anyway, where I was going with that, the new character is called Cerebus. Uh, and I understand uh, you have a manager. Now. Yeah, Boyd Bradford. Wow, what a great character. I've interviewed yeah. him here on OneWrestling.com. You fans that uh, haven't seen it, uh, just go to YouTube and put in Bill After Interviews, Boyd Bradford. Great old school style manager and the old school, like I'm talking about old, old school, like Wild Red Berry. I mean, he goes way, way back. Right. It's good stuff. I really enjoy working for them. Uh, we're who, the tag who, are you, uh, who, who are you feuding with at TCW? Uh, we just started a pretty dramatic feud the other night with uh, Genetic Perfection, which is, which is Alan Steele and uh, Mr. Saturday Night. They, they just got back together. And uh, we did some pretty intense stuff the other night. I don't want to spoil it. No, no, don't. But if you people are watching this a year later, he doesn't mean the other night. He means way back <laughs> in 2013. In uh, uh, August 2013, so that's great. Now, where can people find you if they want to uh, connect with you and talk to you? Is there a uh, 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 are you on, on Facebook, Twitter? I'm on Facebook, Facebook uh, Warren Wolf, uh, my my shoot name, and then Twitter is uh, at like an assassin, L Y C A N assassin. Um, I believe that's all my stuff as far as that goes. Um, but that's the easiest way to get me. All right, all right, and. Uh, TCW will be uh, utilizing uh, uh, your services to uh, take them to the next level, as you said uh, before we got on camera here. Yeah, I hope so. I, I really yeah. think it's going to go. It's a good product. If anybody hasn't seen it, if you don't get it on your TV, you can just go to uh, tcwwrestling.com. The shows are aired on there as well if you don't have Ditch or, uh, or uh, Direct TV. So it's a, it's a good product. I'm high on it. Who is the one person in the entire business? other than me, that you never got to wrestle, that you always wanted to get in the ring with? That's easy, Randy Savage. Okay, so right now, let's, I love to do this. Right <laughs> now, let's make that Randy Savage is alive and well, mm -hmm. and he's got the WCW championship. He's watching right now. We've got about two minutes for you. This is Bill After Everyone, Wolfie D. Tonight, it's you against Randy Savage in Atlanta. Randy Savage and the fans are watching. Wolfie D, 
what are you going to do? In Atlanta, Georgia tonight, the macho man, Randy Savage, is going to take on the Lycan assassin, Cerebus. You've taken on a lot of men in your lifetime, Randy Savage, but you've never taken on the likes of the Lycan assassin. I'm going to be coming at you from every angle. And when I finally get you up over my head and I spin you around for that 360 and drop you on the ground, the macho man is going to be no more. Like an assassin has got a lot of stuff to prove, and I'm going to prove it here tonight. So instead of, oh, yeah, it's going to be, oh, no, huh? No. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, that was terrific. See, I love the, the generation that you came up with. You can just snap your fingers and go into a promo, and it's right. almost a lost art. But uh, right. you're still terrific. As the fans would yell out, you still got it, Wolfie D. Thank you. It is so great to see you again. For too, Wolfie D and uh, Bill After here at OneWrestling.com. And we'll keep chatting with you every few months and uh, see what you're doing. And don't forget TCW Traditional Championship Wrestling Online. And we'll see you.